pelican with some very soft mangoes and pots are full of skeletons and terry cloth kangos. Hey guys, it's Mango Kangoo here and uh yeah, back with another video. We have a new update in Pizza Place. So as I am a little bit late to this, um I was kinda in the Halloween uh, festiveness or whatever, celebrating it. So I, I wasn't able to get to it right away. I wasn't expecting it to come out on Halloween, to be honest. I feel like a, a pet update was a little strange for a Halloween update. But um, regardless, it's um, interesting, I suppose. But yeah, uh, let's get into it. So first thing I want to note is that on um, the transparency on these windows, um, I don't think it was always like this. I actually believe the glass was um, mirrored reflectiveness, and um, this is definitely new too. Uh, you weren't able to see through this before, but I believe that's because um, the Halloween caused the um, light to shine through. So I'm assuming that's what it does at night, and then this is how it's going to look in the day, which is actually quite nice. Um, it would be cool to get maybe a little bit of detail here, maybe some like pet accessories in the future, because I still don't really know how to get that, but let's see. Let's see if we can figure that out, because I did already purchase some pets. Usually there's going to be an egg over here, but there's not this time. I want to buy more pet inventory space. I want to sell my pet. Okay, let's see what the pet inventory space is. Okay, this will allow you to carry more pets at once. Whoa. Okay, let's buy it. <laughs> let's see what that means. So if we go to our pets here. Okay. You can pet it now. It's interesting. Do I get XP for this? Let's see. Oh, can I keep doing that over and over? Or is that not an option? It is not an option. Only when it wants to be pet. Okay, that makes sense. Otherwise, I feel like people would be doing that all day. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So if I do this, and then I go to pets, I'm trying to figure out how I would have two pets at the same time. Okay, either way, um, before we look into that too deeply, this is what the pet looks like. Um, let me show what it looks like first. So your pet will actually look something like this. And once it reaches level two, it will um, change into an actual pet. And so far, from what I have seen and know, all the pets kind of look like this right now. But it's interesting to note that um, eye color is still a thing and type is still a thing. So, possibly as they get older, this could um, change. So, we might be able to see different types of pets um, in the eye color too, because right now, they all kind of look the same. Also, looking at pets, if we go to hats, uh, you still... I don't know how you would purchase the hats still. Um, it's still... I'm still unsure about it. Maybe in the shop we have in here for it. No, nope, it doesn't look like it. So that's still not an option, which is fine. Um, but you would think it would be done by now. But again, we got to remember he's a single-handed um, person. And then if I go and swap my pets and I equip my lunch one, which is my original pet, um, you can see he's level 30. So by default, your old pets, I believe, are all going to be level 30. And yeah, it's, uh, I actually quite like these ones. Uh, they're very big compared to the other ones. But let's actually see how the hats look on them. Oh, that, that fits quite well, actually. I take it back. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, well, I don't want that on it anymore. Okay, there we go. So, um, you can hold them, you can throw them, just like in the other one. I'm not going to do that because your pet can actually die, and I'll show you where you can go to, um, I guess, resurrect your pet in a second. But, um, yeah, your pets can die. And I'm actually going to try and have two pets at the same time. So if I... Oh. Oh, shoot. Did not mean to do that. Nope, stop. Okay. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, so apparently switching between pets doesn't make it so you can have multiple at the same time. Which is a little unfortunate, not gonna lie. So, how do you go about actually reviving the pets once they're dead? Well, you actually have to go to this island over here. So it's uh, located around here. Um, the dock for reference, and then, you know, the other islands. It'll be on this island right here. So I'll be back when I get there. Alright, and then it's going to be down in this crevice right here. So down here where the treasure chest used to be. I don't know if anyone remembers that. And there'll be a witch here. So you're going to want to click on it to talk. And then um, they'll say their line and whatever. And then it says uh, 
I can bring pets back from the dead if you so desire, and then obviously you can go ahead and bring your pet back. And I'm not sure how much it costs, um, oh wait, actually I do. It was, when I was in the beta test with, um, some other people, it, uh, said 7,000, so, oh, what the heck? Okay, um, it said 7,000, so if you spend the 7,000, you can revive your pet. Obviously, you have to kill your pet, um, let's just leave that. And I don't want to influence anything, but you can kill your pet by holding it and throwing it. Um, not sure why it's an option if it damages the pet, but I mean, it's fun. It's funny, and I kind of respect dude one for adding something that's like different and like genuinely fun and you have to take care of your pet. You know, it's a whole different dynamic in my opinion compared to other games like Adopt Me. And I do like that they are a little bit different than Adopt Me pets. I feel like Adopt Me pets don't really do anything ability wise either. So I feel like it's a very different thing. So I don't think it's fair to compare it to that directly. But I do think it is interesting that we're going the pet route. But then again, I can't really blame him for going the pet route. Um, not only is it very popular, but I mean, it's kind of fun. Like even me, I'm not really into pets, but it's fun to have something new to do. And it was always an option up here and it was had a weird UI and um, it just didn't really work as well. And it's well polished now. So I think there's a, like almost everything here is well polished, which is great. I think that's what his goal was to just slowly change this over time. And I think he's doing it pretty, pretty damn well. So at the pet shop, there is pizza that's usually here that you can buy. I ran out because I bought all the pizza. Um, I'm not sure why it runs out in the first place. Um, I think the medicine might run out too because I know the medicine becomes more expensive because as I buy it, it becomes 60, 70. Yeah, it's actually, okay, that's not that bad. I feel like it was crazy expensive before. But eventually, it seems like it just keeps going up and up. So if you damage your pet, constantly uh, you're gonna the repercussions are gonna be there for sure and get reached like 18k or 12k at one point which is absolutely absurd for a piece of pizza that only levels it up 60 xp i mean come on now that's that's crazy right i can't be the only one that thinks that's crazy um but you can get pizza slices i'll try and include a screenshot if i can from uh pizza orders just to, just like you could get presents or the stickers. Um, pizza slices are now a thing that you can get as well. But yeah, that's going to do it for this pet update. Hopefully I went over anything that you had questions about. Um, again, we don't really have a whole lot of answers. This is kind of just the new um, update for it. And again, you can grab your pets from here. Just make sure you select them and press save. And I'll try and get a video um, out to you guys on some of the things that I think pizza place kind of needs right now and where pizza place is at in general or where like the channel is at too that might help um you guys kind of understand some things and also um i do plan on having a builds idea video coming out because obviously those are the most popular and most sought after and i quite enjoy it at times so hopefully i can get another one of those out to you guys oh yeah uh i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye <laughs> I got it cool